Now to the story I've been waiting to tell you guys about. You've probably heard of goat yoga, right? But what about alpaca yoga? Well, that's just one service an upstate woman is offering after turning her love for alpacas into a profitable business. So being an alpaca lover myself, I had to go check out Alpaca Southern in Traveler's Rest. All right, so this is Charlie. He is two years old. Alpacas live to be about 20 to 25, so they're all very young. This is Ollie. He is one, about one and a half. He, uh, he's Mr. Boss of the group. And then that is Reggie. He's a baby. He's young. He's a little less than one. And he's still finding his place in this group. <laughs> Meet the stars of Alpaca Southern. Since opening in May, Allison Badson has hosted a number of events with these guys, including everything from photo shoots, yoga, and most recently, pumpkin painting. Each class selling out. I got them and I basically made a deal with myself that if I could make them pay for themselves, then I could actually go get them. So um, that was my idea was just get a few photographers, do some photo shoots. This property is perfect for it. Uh, and then it just really all went from there and kind of exploded into all sorts of things. And she was thrilled to see just how many people share her same fascination with the animal. They have such a personality that's similar to dogs. Um, they have, they're expressive, they have emotions, you can tell what they're thinking. They have just so many different personalities. Um, Charlie is completely different from Ollie and I can already tell Reggie is completely different from either of them. Um, so it's, it, I think that's part of it, but also they're fluffy and they're cute and they they literally can't even bite you. They don't have top teeth, they can't bite. <laughs> they, they have no defense mechanisms to speak of. So they're just, they're sweet. It's those cuddly qualities that have made her business such a success. And she continues to try new ideas for the future, even using alpaca wool to create products. I've gotten into spinning yarn. So I'm using their fiber to make my own yarn. So like a knitting class or like, one other thing I thought was partnering with a library to do a book club type thing where kids can come and read with alpacas. She has so many great ideas. I know folks are going to be, you know, just uh, scrambling to get out there. <laughs> Allison says that she does have a few events that are already coming up, but they're almost sold out, like I said. So if you're interested in visiting the farm, you can find more information on how to contact Alpaca Southern and Allison on our website, foxcarolina.com.